What's up everybody? So picked up some brake line for blue truck. Um, went down and got some plates on it the other day and was gonna get some brake parts yesterday. Had an interview that went a little longer than I thought it was going to, so I wasn't able to get parts yesterday. So I ran down to the parts store, picked up some brake line from Napa. Uh, hoping the, both nuts on both sides of the brake line are correct. So got to get changed on blue. I want to try to drive it tomorrow. I was going to drive it today. Didn't have time to fix it. So I got a couple of free hours today. Um, going to hurry up, throw it on, try to bleed it what I can on my own again. So I know the one brake, um, ah, I can't think what you call it, but the uh, wheel cylinder, yes. Wheel cylinder um, is good. The other side's been on there for a while. So let's get to it. All right, so I ordered about uh, 15 feet, which I knew I needed less than 15 feet. Uh, got two sticks of five. So what you do is get a little union. I always use the two small ones here and then feed that through your, down through your frame rail. That's about how long I need, um, plus or minus the little bends on each side which on the frame rail would probably be up here anyway, so pretty close. And uh, actually, I'm just gonna take it. Do uh, that here like that. And then, not even, not even gonna waste my time trying to re-thread this at all. Backwards, but okay, I can get the picture anyway. There. Mine, we'll just take that down like so. Go back here in front and crawl back under. And we're just gonna pull this down. Extra. It's gonna be close. Oh, it's gonna be real close. Alright. Come on and trick with me. So here's where I need to go right there. So sticker line. Come back here. Right there's our brake line. Up here, so it's it's gonna be a little stretch but uh we're gonna make this work so i'm gonna bring you back all right so i'm gonna make a gradual tight bend here i don't care what this looks like I don't own show trucks. And this here is gonna be work truck. So I don't really care how shaped tree this uh, brake line is gonna look. Okay. So, 
I got that gradual bend. I'm gonna kind of pinch her down some more. Stick it over in that frame rail. Here. Make sure. Make sure we're out this gas tank. Actually, the back one, and I need a bigger wrench to get that one off. Just a little bit. Hopefully I can get this. this line loose. That shit's fine. I think it's 9 16 Righty tidy lefty loosey. bad part. I think I'm gonna take a nut off the other line and make a short one because I'm not gonna have enough or I'm gonna have too much actually. I think I can reuse All right, so this isn't the right way to do this, but this is how I've always done it. It's a quarter inch line. I'll tighten this up a little bit. And I'm gonna use this to straighten out my line. You drop that back out. Make sure you put your nut on first. That's, that's why I was hoping. So I was hoping I could straighten it out more. Oh, still not enough. So you went on enough. You take this. And do stick it out about right there. Take this down. Pick that off a little bit. Okay, 
nice tight. Take back this up. Okay, yeah, there you go. This sits like so over the center like that. You come in and you just tighten it down. Verify that your line's not sliding out. There you go. So you're supposed to do like a double flare. See how the inside is pushed in um, along with the outside. This one here, I don't really care, it works. So now we just gotta get it on. So as long as this fits in your nut because it's got an inverted flare in there as well. Take that. Oops. There you go. Get him out of the wrench. You gotta be careful on this brass because it pinches easy. No, no. Just come in here. Seven sixteenths. Still a little loose. Have to get a big wrench. So I end up just having to burr the inside of that down right here because if you do it right, you got a little bit of clearance. The way I do it, I don't get much. Okay, yeah, that was a pain in the ass, but I got it. Now I just gotta put some brake fluid in it and try to gravity bleed these and or bleed them by myself. So here we go. All right, tops her up. Probably gonna pump her up a few times manually and then uh, we'll go ahead and Crack the blades loose. Well, let's see if we can uh, get any bubble job. Carefully. a few times but uh you can see all the bubbles coming out right now all right so this uh this wheel cylinder i did years ago is uh one of the first few youtube videos i ever actually did and uh i didn't get many many views on it Yeah, 
this thing's glued right on there. There we go. Come off there. All right, so that's about a eight. So I just gotta go ahead and get my wrench fit on that. So this, uh, hopefully it's number eight. Eight millimeter, yes. Okay. Loosen that up. All right. Got some, got some fluid come out of there. that let that bleed down for you guys to watch and let me try to break this one loose on this side and that didn't work so looks like we're only gonna bleed one side so I'm gonna go ahead and get the cover put back on these up a few times and come back break them loose this wheel cylinder is not very tight I don't know why that is you're on that Usually pump on her a few times and it'll uh, send a little bit of air back. Oh yeah, got a lot of fluid coming out now, we're good. I'll run her like that. All right, good to go.